That looks great. Now, I'm mindful of time. We will run over a few minutes because we started later, if that's okay. Now, Timothy, you're one of the architects of this whole scheme. Can I ask you to go back to one of the naughtiest questions, which is this question of parental consent? Sure. Look at all these laws across the world. What's the best way of getting parental consent? Um, thank you, Ashley. Um, there's no best way, I, I think, to seek you know, parental consent, as you know, Newton and, and, and Callum has introduced. Uh, I think you know, because of the complexity, complexity of, the, of the different laws, um, you know, um, we just need to you know, look at the circumstances, look at the risk profile of the data processing activities, and determine what really makes sense um, from a business perspective and from a compliance perspective. But I think you know, um, we should be looking at, you know, uh, because of time constraint, I think you know, I'm not going to look, go through the challenges on how to obtain you know, a parental consent. What I will focus on is really on what should a perfect tool um, should look like when you know, to assist um, you know, developers to obtain you know, parental consent or you know, just to create that sort of you know, online safety and trust environment for kids. Um, so I, I think you know one of the things that you know we focus on is that there are a lot of small developers. Like for companies like Tencent, we can you know obviously devote all our resources to build our own tool and whatnot. But for a lot of like small and medium enterprises or game developers, right, um, it's actually quite expensive for them to develop their own tool. So uh, this perfect tool should really be democratizing you know compliance. So you know uh, be it like a small or medium you know companies. Um, they will be able to have um, the right tool to assess um, in order to comply um, with you know, their privacy laws uh, around the globe. And there's no reason for them to say, hey, sorry, regulator, you know, I just don't have the resources to do this. And you know, uh, with this perfect tool, I, I think you know, this is going to be great for the um, community. Um, you know, Ace check you know, over here, basically it, it goes to you know, Callum's point and say, you know, what is a child? What is an adult? So you know this perfect tool should really have this you know um, API call where they will be able to check with a master uh, master database on okay this user when you're onboarding him or her um, whether he's a minor or adult so that's a check age check. Um, I would like to go a, a little bit on the age assurance bit. Um, you know we've seen a lot of regulators issuing guidelines. Uh, we've seen a lot of discussion papers on hey you know self declaration of age no longer works. Because we all know kids are very smart. They do not want uh, a sort of you know, a, an inferior experience in gaming. And so they will just lie, right? Like, you know, that we've seen, um, you know, there are mechanisms where we create, hey, you know, please input your parents' email address, or, you know, like Ashley has told us, my kid has my credit card, you know, and so, you know, um, the kid can get the VPC, you know. Um, <laughs> I don't know why that's the case, but, you know. So I think you know this tool would need to have some sort of age assurance um, to make sure that whoever um, you know is onboarded um, to this uh, online service has you know um, uh, is 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 not a kid. So basically, you know um, a lot of like you know we've seen Facebook and, and Instagram using some solutions on facial recognition to to measure you know uh, whether you are a kid or not with with a, with an age band. But there are quite a bit of issues with that because with the technology right now, we still only need uh, we only be able to determine an age band, but not an uh, uh, but not an exact age, and that technology is still not a hundred percent accurate. So uh, I think that needs to be kept in mind. And obviously, um, the age assurance part will need to have a no data strategy where everything is done on device, and you know those data should not be you know um, pinged back to to the server so as to protect the kids' data. There are tons of really good, you know, um, um, idea on what a perfect tool should look like, um, but because of time constraint, happy to catch up over lunch. <laughs>